Hello! Today we're going to figure out how to solve the x and y intercepts from both graphs and equations. So let's move along with the lesson. So what is an intercept? Well, an intercept happens when a point is on an axis. So the x-intercept is when a point is on the x-axis and the y-intercept is when a point is on the y-axis. So what that translates to is the x-intercept happens when y is at 0 and the y-intercept happens when x is at 0. We'll look at that further in the next slide. So for calculating the x-intercept specifically, so I have a graph and I already said that the x-intercept is when a point hits the x-axis. So here is my x-axis, that's the horizontal, and I see that a point hits the x-axis around here. And that corresponds to 5. Because remember this point is in the middle of 4 and 6 and 5 is in the middle of 4 and 6. So the x-intercept is 5. And this equation over here corresponds to this graph. And remember, I said the x-intercept is when y is 0. So how you would get that from an equation is plug in 0 for y. So I would get 2x plus 4 times 0 equals 10. 2x plus 0 equals 10, 2x equals 10, x equals 5, and look, they correspond. So here we have the same graph and same equation because I clearly want to illustrate how to get the y-intercept. So we saw that calculating the x-intercept, we had to plug in 0 for y. So now if we want the y-intercept, we have to plug in 0 for x. So if I see my graph, y-intercept, because it hits the y-axis, that's the vertical axis. And it's not clearly at a number, so remember you'd have to see how many boxes there are in the graph. And now I know that it's going up by 0.5, so this would be 2.5. And this equation corresponds to this graph once again. So here I'm going to be plugging in 0 for x, and we should be getting the same answer. And yes, we get 2.5. So that's the y-intercept, and we're going to do some practice problems on the next slide. So here are some practice problems. There are two equations and one graph. I want you to find both the x and y-intercepts for all of these, and I'll meet you on the next slide with the solutions. Okay, so I'm going to be solving the first problem first. Let me get set up. Okay, so remember, we're solving for the x-intercept first, so I'm going to plug in 0 for y, because we're solving for x. Remember to keep the negative. And then if I want to solve for the y-intercept, now I have to plug in 0 for x, because I want the y. So you can write it as negative 2 over 3 or negative 0.6 repeating is the same answer. Okay, so if you didn't get this answer, jot this down. I'm going to be erasing so I have room for the second problem. Okay, second problem. We still want to solve for the x and 
y intercept so I'm going to be solving for the x intercept first so I'm going to plug in a 0 for y I'm going to leave this as a fraction and now for the y intercept I have to plug in 0 for x Remember, I want the y. And I'm also going to keep this as a fraction. OK, so now moving on to the graph. This should be your easiest. So boom, x-intercept because it hits the x-axis, and y-intercept because this hits the y-axis. And we can clearly see that the y-intercept is 1, and the x-intercept takes a little bit of work to calculate, but it's still easy because, remember, you just see how many spaces there are, so now we know it's going up by negative 0.1. So if I go negative 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, so I know this is negative 0 0.8. And yeah, this is how you calculate the x and y intercepts from graphs and equations. Hope you got the solutions right, and have a great day.